Good morning, everyone. It is the AM Icebreaker for Friday, April 6th, and uh, I hope you guys had a great week. Here we are on the verge of another weekend, and uh, so hope you uh, either have plans to relax or plans to keep grinding on whatever you're grinding on. Me, I'm going down to uh, 10th Planet Portland this Sunday to, to do some work, which means I'm not going to do a live Q&A. In fact, I'm probably going to have to change the time and date of those because I'm actually going to start going to 10th Planet Portland on Sundays every... Uh, Sunday that I'm in town, and of course every other Sunday I'll, I'll probably be traveling, and whether we do a live Q&A or not, it'll be uh, kind of be depending on what I'm doing. I'm going to try and um, make better announcements about those two. I know I know some people have kind of said, hey, I, I, you know, I forget when you do these. I don't, you know, I'm, I want to I want to watch more, but I just don't know what's going on. So I'll definitely, you know, I'll be I'll be throwing announcements on Facebook and on and on Instagram and on Twitter, so folks know. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll be and I will I will have another consistent time. You know, I'm not gonna just kind of randomly announce it. So that way, if people want to plan, they can and get questions ready, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so that's a big announcement. Other big announcement is a huge, huge thanks to the Steel Mace Warrior, Miss Victoria Islas. We had a great, I thought it was a great podcast yesterday. Um, you know, she, we had a good discussion. She asked me a lot of good questions. Um, had some great questions from the audience. Thank you guys who actually contributed to that. You know, um, I'm not working with a lot of people on a, on a training from a training standpoint right now, but knowledge is something I'm always happy to share. So if you, uh, if you have questions about anything, any continuing it I've done, any sort of movement paradigm any sort of training paradigm um let me know like i said i, I will always answer questions <clears throat> so and if there's something like that and, and as always if there's something particular you want to hear me talk about write a blog post about do a video about let me know i'm happy to do that and speaking of um videos and making videos about things i was talking to a friend yesterday and she had um she, she'd watched uh, my video on what was it changing perspective to embrace the suck and and her question was well what does that actually look like for you you know what you know i mean what what do you do how how would you what, what what's an actionable plan or at least not even an actionable plan but what's an example of how that works you know day in day out because because you know because it, it is easy to say but it, until you kind of learn how to look at things so you, i mean it's like a lot of things right until you learn how to look for and look at things it, it can be a little difficult and sometimes it's nice to have somebody just say hey look here's here's the job we're trying to do here's how to do it so now you do it. Um, it's funny. I, I took a class yesterday at work on on how to use a risograph printer, which is kind of like a silk screen printer, and you know actually being able to walk through the steps and process rather than have to figure everything out right is great. So, so for me, it, it's it, it's interesting because there's a I'm, I'm actually going through something like that right now, and there's and there's all these all this stuff that kind of feeds into it. It's a little personal. It's a little little mental, a little physical, but. Um, so I'm at this point right now where work is kind of starting to get a little busy. Work has been actually a little busy. You know, we've got conferences coming up. I've had personal stuff, uh, you know, GDC, that sort of thing. So basically things that I've had to put time towards that have made it kind of difficult to sort of think about how I, how I, how I do things that aren't work. And last time I, I quit jujitsu, it was the same. It was the same reason. You know, work had just gotten crazy. I was doing the work of like three people. We were totally understaffed. And I said, hey, I just can't do this right now. And I'm at that point where I could do that, but instead what I chose to say is, well, I, I really want to do jujitsu. I don't want to quit. So I'm going to just figure out how to, how to work it into my day. And, 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 uh, if I have to go to some extremes, which like I do right now, you know, I go, I know I work early. I work, you know, I, I usually come into the office around seven thirty or eight work till about six. Um, then I'll go train and I'll come back to the office for a little bit. And so, so usually I don't get to bed till 11 at the, at the earliest, depending on, on the day. Some days we have jiu-jitsu early, so I get to bed, um, I get to bed later or earlier and that's great. But that, that sucks. You guys, I mean, it's like, it's like, you know, you train, you train really hard, you come back to, to the office and you, you work and your brain's kind of like, eh. and then you go home and you don't, and you don't, and for me, like I need, I need, you know, a good seven hours of sleep. I think, I think I've realized this. So not getting that is not taking its toll i mean maybe it may like like galpin says maybe i'm not optimizing i'm adapting right now um because i don't feel horrible but i definitely don't feel optimal but it's one of those i i could say well gee this really sucks i don't like it or i could say you know i i'm really lucky that i have the flexibility to do this and that's how i choose to look at it you know i don't i don't look at it like oh my god this this is shitty and i, I wish i wish there was something better it's like no no I'm, I'm glad that my life is such that I can make these extreme changes to do the things that I want to do. And even more so, you know, 
to uh, you know to get jujitsu specific, I'm I'm very much go in that plateau phase that you hear about if you've heard about jujitsu that seems to be particularly kind of pronounced with jujitsu, and it's one of those. I could look at it and say, well, you know, it sucks, and, and, and I used to be better than this, and I want to be better again, and I'm not going to get better because because right now I'm not getting sleep and recovery, and, and I've got, you know, work stress. Not not like bad stress, but, you know, but you know just it, it's an issue. And But instead, you know, kind of like I alluded to the other day, I, I choose to say, well, let's look at the specifics of actually what's happening. I get to train at a gym with really cool people, with really great coaches, and it actually... It's not too hard to fit into my schedule, like I said, and like I said, I, I have that flexibility, so I'm lucky. But so, so that's that's really it. I mean, and and like I said, all I did was really and until this is something, you know. Sorry, let me go back. A good practice for that is to just is to write it down. Like 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 you know you know you see people do it all the time. You know, make a get a big sheet of paper, get a whiteboard, draw a line down the center, column, good, bad. And, and everything you can, think of everything you can, whether it's giant, whether it's a minuscule detail, and then just go down it. And hopefully, you know, you'll, you, you can drop some of those negatives off and just be left with a big list of positives. So that's really it. And um, yeah, actually, I'm going to shout out Henzo Gracie Seattle. Uh, if anybody, any of you guys out there are looking for a place to roll in Seattle, come by. It's, it's a great gym, good energy, good coaches. Uh, I really love it. And um, I think it's, I, I'd say... Uh, yeah, I'd say we'd love to see you on the mats. So we have open mats Saturday. Come by. Otherwise, come by anytime during the week. First class is free. And, um, yeah, that's what I got. So cheers.